Hi friends, my name is Nandita. I am from Andhra Pradesh. Children, now let us discuss about differentiation, dedifferentiation, and redifferentiation. The cells derived from the root apical and suit apical meristem and cambium differentiate and mature to form specific function. This act lead to maturation is termed as differentiation. During differentiation, cells undergo few to major structural changes both in their cell walls and protoplasm. For example, to form a tracheary element, the cells would close their protoplasm. They also develop a very strong elastic lingocellosic secondary cell walls to carry water to long distance even under extreme tensions. Try to correlate the various anatomical features you encountered in plants to the functions they perform. Plants show another interesting phenomena, the living differentiated cells that by now have lost the capacity to divide can regain the capacity of division under certain conditions. This phenomena is termed as de-differentiation. For example, formation of meristem, intrafiscular cambium and cork cambium from fully differentiated parenchyma cells. While doing so, such meristem tissues are able to divide and produce cells that once again lose the capacity to divide but mature to perform specific functions, that is, get redifferentiated. List some of these tissues in a woody dicotyledonous plants that are products of redifferentiation. How would you describe a tumor? What would you call the parenchyma cells that are made to divide under controlled laboratory conditions during the plant tissue culture? We have mentioned that the growth in plants is open, that is, it can be detected intermediate or determinate how we may say the event differentiation in plants is open because the cells and tissues arising out of the same meristem have different structures at maturity. The final structure at the maturity of a cell or a tissue is also determined by the location of the cell within. For example, cells positioned away from the root apical meristem differentiate as a two root cap cells. While those pushed to the periphery matured as epidermis, you can add a few more examples of open differentiation correlating the position of a cell to its position in an organ.